Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off wide. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touching. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again. We don't know what the hydraulics can do. We've got him here today doing a port. Hello, course. sir. There's a time to try something. It's now. Corvo, you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. All right then, let's go see Mother. <laughs> Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Run with me! They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news Follow have you me, brought? Captain. We should leave. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Emily, get behind me! Look out! Another one! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! 
to do, won't you? Corvo? Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Final chance, Grovo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, something to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here, but I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them, just down the river from here.
This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Starting at last, Admiral. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of the line there. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Hello, 
Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that many call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. A reminder to all citizens, inspect your neighbors' faces closely. If there is any sign of blood on the eyelids or cheeks, you must notify me. Oh, that pile of wood out there? It's a hovel he built from an old rowboat. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle... Jeff Kernow still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just one. Ready to go? Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. 
man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the city watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Hey. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Blow off. <laughs> second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really... What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. This business pass all the quicker. Locked? One of the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. <coughs> I'm all right, Colonel. But down the wrong way. Now about these overseers... Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who's done this? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... I instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never fight you. What in the world? Campbell? He's dead. Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies, what have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a younger of your order in here before. An initiate, perhaps, detained him. You don't give orders here. Don't be a fool. He must be running already. Get after him! I'll be filing a full Stop report. Stop your report, Colonel. And I'll have your weapons, at once. Idiot! One step closer and I'll gut you. You've forgotten where you are, Captain. 
You've no power here. You'll regret this! Bring the arms! We'll have to fight our way out! Fish bay now. Hold on. Someone's down. Attention! This facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, Attention. we have to take down the all Lord Regent and living all on the north of side of You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. 
I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. I know the Golden oh, Cat. A moment, Not as a patron. I design... I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those large safe in there, because I've heard rumors. If one of them gets hurt, I'll lose my job. Oh, that's just the girls talking. It's nothing. Pressure builds up in the pipes, and, well, it almost never happens. I'll make sure they never mention it again. Anyhow, Sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Prudence, the old hag. She caught me trying to get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. 
I'll hide here until you get the key. Check under everything. I'll get to the bottom. What the voice is that? Two arms! Flank it! Rush him! I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you, if you see him? Go back, Corvo. You made short work of things. Get in. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Callista, I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you.
All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Huh? my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for... What? How did you get past all the gods? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead. Well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man. So you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me? I am the royal physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! I can't say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. But you're not what I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me to drink? Sit and talk a while. Come, we'll discuss your future. Money, women, whatever you want. There is much to learn from the stars for those fluent in their tongue. I could consult my astronomical charts. Is there no reasoning with you? Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it, triple it. No? Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. Perhaps there are other rewards you seek. I see you are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? Damn it! I need assistance! No! Someone help me! No! 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 <laughs> Leave me 
be. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. From what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Kroko. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. I like it up here. I mean, the old tower's haunted. I've even seen a ghost once. He had weird black eyes. Oh, all right, I'll go. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city. The heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so well. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. 
I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Good grief, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. Good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. The party's indoors this time. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse Did you hear about, about Mrs. Brimsmark? You'll never believe this. What is it now? I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. What can I get for you? What is it? Oh, really? Tell me. No, I don't 
don't know you. I'm not even sure you're on the guest list. Absolutely not. I don't know you or your family. You think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed. I believe so. you enjoyed your evening, sir, but we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Hmm. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Men remain off-limits. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. We're one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers. The Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterline. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. This is it, Corvo. The last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. The most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. The broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. What is going on down there, General? 
There are no reports of any disturbances, Lord Regent. I don't care! Double the guards anyway. Triple them. Make sure everyone is doing what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. Restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can <laughs> Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new... High Overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Did you kill anybody tonight? Hiram How many? Burns, once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find out. The assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the Overseers, and you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with Parker. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair. It still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle. There is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Colby, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? Samuel, they move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? A bit better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, 
It'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you, after all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state, and maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your Empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Others could fight. 
against the ticking of the clock. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life. Or mine. Afraid to face me? I'm disappointed. Why are you fighting? Were the men who poisoned you and left you to die? Or your dead empress? Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. Nice try, Corvo. Think I'm your enemy. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Corvo. I thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Criminal mind. I don't want to do it now. Update. My men are still trying to... Fight it too hard! Firing! Bravo! Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it, 
before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. What? Why is no one making rounds over here? What? Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? I should have guessed you'd want to act decisively. It's a simple adjustment, and we will be ready. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. So many lives silenced in an instant. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. The island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily just after they landed. I'll bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. If Hamilton's lost the first round, he's probably dug in someplace doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you, Corvo, the things you've done, you could be the worst of us. I've seen a lot traveling with you. Now get off my boat. I'd wish you good luck, but I'd be lying. Out, Corvo. I'm not moving! Don't try to act brave, you worthless Blow piece off. of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong! Stupid <laughs> Let's see how you like this. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> Get behind! 
find him. I should have killed them all when I... None of this would have so bad on that damn cool Corvo. Corvo, I knew you would get here. <coughs> well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin, Celia. <laughs> At least I outlive Martin. Good reading always rises above. There is some flashing thing that easily catches a man's fancy in one moment. But Why is no one making rounds over this? Let's just see what happens if I get another crack. Everything has come to nothing. The plague will take us all. You could have sat on the throne with me behind it. But now Corvo is racing towards it, ready to dash it all to bits. Corvo! I always knew you would come. You're my hero. The others are all dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered Empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. 